Hey everyone and welcome back to Digital Doc Games where we explore how games help us grow, connect, and heal. I just played Celeste 2, Lonnie's Trek, and boy do I have some thoughts. If you want to get into the nitty gritty critiques of a game, there are plenty places to go for that. But if you want to know what impact you will walk away after playing a game, Digital Doc Games has your back. So what impact can you expect from playing the game Celeste 2, Lonnie's Trek? That's what we will find out in the Celeste 2 Impact Review. On Celeste's third anniversary of release, developer Matt Makes Games surprise dropped a mini sequel to the game titled Celeste 2 Lonnie's Trek, a game that the developers created in just three days and is fully playable for free by download or in a web browser. I was so excited by this news because the original Celeste is one of my favorite impactful games of all time. Celeste is a game that beautifully explores the topic of mental health and does so not only by telling a great story about a character who suffers from anxiety, but by actually incorporating her mental health into the gameplay itself. When I hopped into Lonnie's Trek, I was excited to meet Lonnie and dive into the mind and psyche of another character in the Celeste universe. Unfortunately, this sequel was more focused on providing more gameplay than it was in providing more story. Other than a different composition of pixels and a new grappling hook mechanic, there was nothing really impactful that differentiated Celeste from newcomer Lonnie. I never even really learned why Lonnie was on this trek, other than a pretty small reward of an, an oasis found at the end of the game. This is a real shame because I would have loved to see Matt Makes Games take on another serious topic like mental health or illness, but it clearly wasn't the focus for this three year anniversary gift to the fans. I'm not complaining because this was free and unexpected, but still, I hope in the next full release project by the studio, we will see a return to the great storytelling we know they are capable of. What was the focus of this game, like I already mentioned though, was the gameplay. And my god, is this gameplay challenging. The original Celeste excelled in creating challenging and rewarding gameplay. In fact, the other reason I am in love with Celeste as an impactful game is because of what the game has to teach us about the process of learning. Celeste, and Celeste 2 for that matter, are games where failure happens again, again, and again. In traditional education, we are taught that failing is a bad thing, but in Celeste, failure is a necessary part to the learning process. In Celeste, you need to learn from your past mistakes in order to progress in the game. What results is an iterative gameplay experience where every single attempt at a level is a product of past lessons learned, and it is unbelievably satisfying to watch yourself get better with every go. Celeste 2 is no different, except for the fact that even though it is a shorter experience, my playthrough lasted just over an hour and I have seen speedrunners finish it in minutes, it might even be more challenging than the original game. At least, it was for me. The added challenge really reinforces that idea of failing and learning, but during my playthrough, I definitely walked that delicate line of enjoying my time with the game and absolutely losing my freaking mind because Lonnie just wouldn't do the thing I needed her to do even though I was trying so hard to do the thing. But that really is the beauty of Celeste. It can walk that line so well. It can simultaneously be frustrating, making you want to jump out of your skin or make sounds and faces like this. Oh, oh my God. Or this. while having every success empower you to keep on moving forward. It teaches you that even if something seems impossible, you will eventually figure it out. If you believe, you can achieve. The only thing I wish is that there was even just a little bit of that fantastic storytelling and character development to give me a reason why I should keep pushing forward. Even still, there is a lot to learn from Celeste 2 about the process of learning, making it a very impactful game, just not as impactful as the original. Hey, thanks for watching. What were your thoughts on Celeste 2 or even the original Celeste? Sound off in the comments with what makes the game impactful or not for you. For everything health and games, keep it right here to Digital Doc Games.